Over at the Metro Council, they were one vote short of passing the so-called One Baton Rouge resolution. It would say that our city's accepting of all people, races, and lifestyles. Tonight, Mayor Kip Holden's trying to figure out why it bombed. One Baton Rouge, the group, says accepting homosexuals may have been the sticking point. WAP's Tyana Williams reports. Some people say Baton Rouge already has a sense of togetherness. The machines are open. But at last night's council vote on the one Baton Rouge resolution, Joe Tragel says you wouldn't think so. And I think this is clearly an example of when the people of a city are much further along than some of their public officials. His want for one missed passing by only one vote. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Respect one another. You may not like everything a person does, but at least have respect for one another. Even Mayor Kip Holden, who signed off on one Baton Rouge, has a problem with the way things went. He says people, in particular preachers, made the resolution calling for acceptance of all people only about homosexuality. Holden got this letter from the pastor of the chapel. In it, Pastor Dennis Nigenberg tells the mayor, quote, Perhaps you accept the junk science used to prove sexual orientation. That is for you to decide. However, for the city council or mayor to make a blanket declaration that we want to be a sanctuary city for homosexuals, is another thing. This guy is not speaking as a godly person. This guy is speaking virtually as somebody who has hatred in his heart. There was even talk that if we become a city that accepting, Baton Rouge will become a haven for pedophiles. We have a reputation for being intolerant. We have a reputation for a city limit sign that says Baton Rouge, none standard people not welcome. Tragel doesn't think his dream has been washed out. He's just going to go back to square one and come back stronger. Tiana Williams, WAFB 9 News. By the way, the two council members who didn't vote, Lori Burgess and Wayne Carter, said they had to leave before the issue came up. Burgess did tell us that if she had cast a vote, it would have been yes to 1BR.